I think it started when I felt, especially with the young marriages. Uh, okay, I've been married in Yana for a while. I've been married for 16 years now. And we'll be 17 in April. And I've actually noticed that we, we're getting a lot of divorce now. And I just thought, can't we do something from our side, especially when it was influenced by the verse that Solomon says, a wise woman builds her home. So wise Mapuche actually comes from that verse which says, a wise woman builds her home. So it really came as something that was interesting to me, that, okay, a wise woman, he didn't speak about a wise man, but he spoke about a wise woman builds her home. And he said, a foolish one destroys it with her own hands. So that really got me interested to really go deeper to understand. And from my deeper researches, I actually picked up that there is a lot that a woman can do in a home. A woman is so influential. A woman can actually change a man. Eh? That's why a woman, a, a man can leave his wife with four children and go and stay next door with another woman. Then that's when you realize how powerful women are. We are so powerful, we've got so much power that we actually can control the world. We can control men. We can get them to do what we want them to do. But we just need to get the wisdom and an understanding of how do we do it. So I'm going to try and be fast. I actually speak for an hour, so and I see it's a little bit late and I'm sure you guys haven't eaten maybe i don't know if you ate first so that then i know you are relaxed did you guys eat no we are relaxed okay lovely lovely <laughs> so i actually uh, you know get so interested to understand the role the role of being a wife eh? the role of being a wife what is the role what, what does it do? Why being called a wife? That plays a role. Mm. The role to be a wife. Because there are others that want the role but they can't get. Mm. So it's a role, it's like a, a job. Eh? It's like going for an interview. Eh? There will be a spec. So each man has their own spec of a wife that they want. That's why it, you won't find a man wanting any other woman. There will be that specific one. And we hear when God created Eve, we hear that Adam was, was bored. Eh? He, was, he was lonely. Which means with everything that God tried to do for Adam, it didn't work. Until when he created Eve and he was like, at last. So in Zurapa, you are the at last of that gentleman so it means he might have had girlfriends but he didn't make them his wife when he got to you he was like at last i found the one that i want but as women women are are very busy we are so busy that we neglect our husbands we think we are married to look after the house, to look after the children, to be busy, to be making sure everybody is eating, making sure everybody is. And then that man is sitting there alone and bored. Because there is no, there is no wife. Adam was lonely. So when he is marrying you, he's not marrying you for his family. He's not marrying you for any other thing. He's marrying you because he wants companionship. He wants somebody that he can sit and laugh and talk hadipa, mudin. He wants somebody that he can want to knock off just to go and be with that person. I always say, we, as a woman, when you get into a marriage, huh? There must be two places where you are tasty. And it's with your tongue and your kuku. Eh? Let's put the kuku aside for now. <laughs> with the tongue. We hear Solomon talking a lot about a nagging wife. And he says, being 
being with a nagging wife, you would rather be on top of the roof. Guru, you would rather leave a mansion and go and stay in a shack. Just so that you can find peace. Men love peace. They love peace. Bye. And Bye. We, we, as, <laughs> we as women, at times, we are not so peaceful. Guru, we are not in a space where at times you will think your husband does not listen to you. But just because you have no timing, you are not able to read and understand. It's your duty to understand that man. Eh? When I was talking about a role as a person goes in the job, you understand the job, you understand the environment. You don't do things the way you were doing them wherever you were or at home. You are in a different space. Imagine I get to a new company and then I'm doing things like uh, the old company or you want to do things the way, you know, my dad does this, you know, my mom does this, you know, at home we do this. Ah, uh -uh. When you are on the other side, you learn how things are done on the other side. You learn how he likes his things. You know, like I, I used to fight with my husband at the early age of our marriage because my dad is very hands, hands on. My dad is that person that will cook, will make breakfast, will do so many other things. Eh? My, my, my parents are pastors. And every time, and my dad is very handy. When the group is, is putting it in, and then there, so many times I'll sit and wait. Because I want to see what I was seeing at home. <laughs> and I'll be so frustrated. And my, my mom will, will not drive when my dad is there, ever. I've never seen my mom driving my dad. I'm sure she will drive when he's like very old and he cannot do anything. But at this stage, my dad is the one that drives everywhere. Like even when you get there, you say, take me wherever he's taking you. My husband is so lazy to drive, you will even want to sit on the other side. Ah, baby, drive on. I'm thinking, oh, this man, I thought men will drive us. You know, things that were a little bit frustrating because I didn't see them at home. So you need to understand the person that you are with. You need to understand. And if you want to teach him new tricks, you don't bring new tricks and say, we were doing this, or I saw at the next door they are doing this. You introduce them nicely. Eh? You introduce them. Uh, when I met my husband, uh, actually that's something that I, I didn't say when we started that. There are five first five years were very frustrating. I think that's why I started West Makot. So I can help other Makotis when they get into the marriage. Because there were expectations that I had and it was disappointments because I was not seeing what I wanted to see. And you know, when I met my husband, he was saying, birthday, celebrating birthday. To him, celebrating birthday was, why celebrate birthday? He was like, I don't even remember my birthday. I don't know my mom's birthday. I don't know my... And then I came from a family where birthdays were everything. Kore, even now, like, my dad still sends money for each one of us. For my husband's birthday, for me's birthday. Because we celebrate birthdays. So even when I was young, even when I was in body, he will send money just so that I can buy cake. Then I come to the husband that... Birthday cake for what? It's just another day, and I wanted to be celebrated. And I felt this man is not celebrating me, and I got so frustrated. But at first, I was not introducing it in the right way because I'm saying this is how we were doing it, and I want to see it happening here in this home. And then you will find a man that is very stubborn and saying, I see, I know how to and we're not gonna do things the way I know I just quit one now. But you can introduce these things in a very nice way. You love, nah, I, I appreciate, I love being celebrated. You know, they always laugh when I tell them that the first time when my husband started buying me flowers, when I saw the eh, flowers up and the one I'm vend out on, I think I do be end of one of the one. And you know, that day I was at work and I sent him a link of net florist. I said, Link, it care you. That bad day, young and never check up or buy a ring some of my rubber by a deliver and the flowers must not be delivered at the house they must be delivered at work and i never going to go reception they are not fun so what is on reception and i said please love on my birthday 
please flowers eh? mm. and i keep teaching him and i'm keep saying to i'll be saying to him my love don't don't be don't be scared to love me you know when you see flowers buy them i will love them don't be scared to love me i'm teaching him how i want things to be done but in the right way mm. and not in a way of nagging because when you are nagging, nagging it's not listening mm. you are talking alone mm. you will talk 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 and wonder it's still not happening <laughs> i remember when we had babies and they were small and the helper you know like the helper must go off as well and like i'm doing everything i'm doing and then we were still staying in a townhouse like it's the like lounge is there and the kitchen is there and then it's like baby baby come and see something on the tv continue with the dish what's wrong no matter what is the problem <laughs> you don't help me i'm doing everything i'm taking care of the babies he said but you never asked for help some you don't think they can see Mm. And then you are waiting that he must do it. He must know. He must understand no. Mm. You are going to you are getting this man as a Roman mm. and you are going to make a husband. Your husband out of him. So it means the husband that you want to see out of him, you are going to create that. And you are going to build it in the right way because a wise woman builds a home. Yeah. So you are going to build a husband out of him and he is going to be the person that you want to have. Now years later I'm sitting at this enjoying my husband because he is the husband he is the one that even loves you know birthday celebrations and all these things that I wanted I had to teach him properly and showed him this is what I want and also learn what he wants eh don't force him to be something he's not eh just because your friend's husband loves sushi and he loves pap There's nothing wrong with your husband wanting pap. You don't say, "Hey ah, pap, pap is so fancy." No, you know, like, you know like this man doesn't appreciate. I cooked. You know I even I got that recipe from the I cooked it and he came he just looked at it he didn't eat because he doesn't enjoy it. Hence I'm saying learn him and understand him the things that he loves. Hmm? If he loves pap and you don't know how to cook mashonja, you ask somebody, "How do I cook mashonja?" because you want to please your man you want you don't want him to think now you he, he must behave the way you want him to behave so it's up to you what you want to come out of the relationship that you guys are getting into so many couples they get in and then they start frustrating each other then they start not understanding or this is not the person that you know i fell in love with and a lot changes when people are married boyfriend and girlfriend and husband and wife are two different roles yeah. the boyfriend and girlfriend some of the things are not going to fit in in the marriage mm. so in the marriage it's required a wife it's re it requires a husband so which means there are things that will not happen as much as you would want to say this you know i remember we used to go to movies every tuesday you know Uh, when we were still in Pretoria those who stayed in Pretoria there was their land it was 12 rand on Tuesdays during our time and then we knew Tuesday you know we will go to the movies when we got married i see we are not going to the movies and then the movies movies and then my husband told me may i sleep at the movies ha <laughs> we dated for four years and he, you never said anything about you sleeping but now he is relaxed he is never he can say things the way they are he can be honest because you can't pretend forever even you there are certain places where you are still pretending because you want to be like you want When you are in the marriage you're going to relax to right now he must accept me this is me you some of the things you're going to put if he, he was going on a date and then he's chewing he's not chewing properly you'll just tell your friends hey mara mata funele ha la ne when you are in the marriage i ba kholisa ni bone man but now you are free you can talk because you can't pretend forever so there are certain things that will start showing up in the marriage But how do you now embrace you know those things that you can see or I mara this one uh, this this is not is when you understand that the man that you are getting married to how could God then as strength the face he has got weaknesses okay. yeah and when you are saying i do you are saying i do even to the weaknesses mm -hmm. 
You are saying I do even to the things that you are not gonna like. What's and all? You are saying I do to all these things. So which means you must understand that you, even you yourself, you have your own weaknesses. And we as women, we always complain about men because men don't really complain. Even when they see the things that you are doing which are not right, they, they won't really voice it out. And then yet we're thinking, Renee, we are the sweet conyans, we are, you know, we are the best. Martina, if my husband has to say everything wrong that I do, I'll get Angapa under the table. Because then I'll start seeing, well, there are other things in our I'm failing this man. So it's up to you that when you are getting into this marriage, are you willing to go and work on your marriage? Marriage is a journey. Ah, Siuri, we are married now. <laughs> it's done. Uh-uh. When you get married, that's when you start the chain. Mm. I see a lot of women, they prepare so much for a wedding than prepare for marriage. Kore, the wedding is everything. I know I was there as well. Ooh, I wanted my wedding to be the best. Kore, yo, I wanted this. And in our time, there wasn't a lot of uh, internet. But there was a lot of magazines. I had all those bride magazines. <laughs> I don't know how many. Kore, I wanted to check the cake. I wanted to check this. Checking the new trends for this and that. You know, wanting the day to be perfect. And my cry is, the way we want the day to be perfect, it's like it's the same zeal that we can use to have a perfect marriage. Same zeal we can use to say, I want a beautiful, I'm going to work on my uh, marriage so that I can have a beautiful marriage. I heard that you are working. I was listening, seated there, and hearing. That man, he doesn't want a manager at home. <laughs> he doesn't want a boardroom. He doesn't want that boardroom that uh, your friend was saying, when you're in the boardroom. Ah, that man, he wants a wife. So the, bed, the, the boardroom, whatever, you leave it where you are. Because he wants his wife. And which is good. As women, we must, you know, um, develop ourselves. Eh? We must achieve all those things that we want to achieve. It does not mean because we are married, it means all the dreams must fall away. Eh? Because you will end up, he's there intellectually, and you are here. And the two of you cannot really relate with what you are saying. So it's good that you are educating yourself, that you are making sure that you are climbing the corporate ladder or whatever, the way you are doing it. it it's, it's a good thing for us as women. And it, it shouldn't even come as a threat to the husband if you are doing things the way you are supposed to be doing as a woman. Understanding that you are not a leader. Eh? You can lead men there in the office. Eh? We don't submit to every man. That's why even the Bible says, submit to your own husband. Yes, when I want a report, I want a report. Even my husband, if he can come and work in the same company with me. Harvey Mushumoni is not my husband. We'll do the husbandship and wifeship when we get home. In the office, if I want a report now, I want a report. But we want to also be able to differentiate eh? I've got my own companies I'm owning my companies on last Sunday I was on ENCA talking about my my cosmetic company eh? but that company my husband even escorted me there he was there he was there in the group and everything he's supporting me because he can see I'm not using it to be something that now I must end my papa now I'm a woman, I'm bringing money in this house. Bringing money or not bringing money, understand your role yeah. of being a wife. You are a helper. You are helping this man, not a helper, you are a helper. You are a helper in making sure through this marriage. Eh? A marriage is also a calling. Eh? A marriage yeah, yeah, where you will find out there are so much other things that God has put into this marriage which can help other people. So in me, you are there to make sure that those things are happening. As a woman, you are bringing them on the table. You are the one guiding him. Hmm? Be a good advisor. I always refer to, uh, what's his name again? It, it, uh, the word is God in the Bible. That one that 
um, when they wanted to crucify uh, Jesus, I've been a bit of. Oh, what's the, the name? Potiphar. Jesus? Potiphar. I bet I'm just saying Peter. Potiphar. <laughs> Potiphar's wife. I love that kind of an advisor to the husband. She sent, we hear that Potiphar's wife sent a message eh, to the boardroom to where Potiphar is having a meeting and say, please have nothing to do with that man because I didn't have a good dream. God is saying this. So we want such women who can advise their husbands to do well. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to his family, eh? when he comes back and says, you know my sister, I'm not going to talk to her anymore. You know my mom, the way she did it, we are not going there anymore. So I'm also like, yes, I can't <laughs> You should be the one saying, no, my love, that's not how it's supposed to be done. That's not how it's supposed to be done. She's your mother. She's your sister. He's your brother. He's your blood. I'm sure you guys can work things out. I'm sure you misunderstood. Don't put fire. Mm. Don't put uh, petrol on fire hmm? and increase the fire. Be the wife that advises her husband to do good. Yeah. Eh? This man has changed to be the worst person. Let's hear the family saying, even his friends, even anybody that is in his circle. They must be saying good things. Or since this woman came in this man's life, like the Proverbs 31 woman that we hear, she enriched her husband. Enriched this man. Eh? We hear that the Proverbs 31 woman's uh, husband was respected by the gates at the gates because of the wife because of the type of a wife that he has so this man must be respected just because he's got to you eh? because the dealings that he does even in business huh? we hear he's in business you will be the one advising him to do things the right way you are a child of God it means you'll be saying hey, my love I don't think you must take this route I think take this route so don't allow him to go out of the and to have the learning to move on. Be that woman that advises her husband well. And I want you to be like Ruth. We are moving now to the in-laws. Hmm? Ruth. I just love Ruth. And I, you know, I'm still asking myself, like I was even saying, you know, do we still have such relationships of the in-laws and Makoti, like Ruth had with her mother-in-law. Do we still have them? I mean, we've seen that sometimes when the husband is no more, then there's no more relationship between the Makoti and the in-laws. But the way Ruth built uh, the relationship with the mother-in-law, she built it in a way that even when the husband was no longer there, they still had a good relationship. And she said, Talk, not even telling the husband, telling the mother-in-law. We have a tendency of the young people that are getting married, they, they like quoting the verse, he's going to leave his father and mother, <laughs> and he will incline to me, his wife. Yes, beautiful, he will do that. But it doesn't mean they are not going to leave anymore. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean they are all going to die. They are still going to be there. And they are still going to be very much part of your lives. We are Africans. Eh? Whatever I have to go. You can't say the relationship is very far. The way you are, you are just putting I know, my love, you are not going to that funeral. You're gonna fight. You're gonna fight. Some things just make peace with them. Okay, Mujara wa Mujara, but I'm okay, my love. Enjoy. Huh? So that na ena akono us debor u free. Because you know, with the relationships, you will never know. Maybe Muzara wa Muzara wa Marume is the one that took him to school. There are things that he might not even tell you. There are relationships that you don't try and say, but she's not your mother. 
She's not your sister. She's not your wife. But I understand if it was his mother. I understand if it was his sister. You don't understand the depth of the relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't know where they are coming from. Maybe the groceries were coming from the next door. That's why even when anything happens at the next door, he wants to go. Mm. When you marry this man, allow him to still have a relationship with his family. Eh? Allow him to still have a relationship with his family. I always say, you know, the things that I wouldn't want. My mother also has a magoti. Eh? And they've got such a beautiful relationship with my sister-in-law. And I, I love that. And that's exactly, when I look at it, I see, wow. I see the way my sister-in-law takes care of my mom. And I'm loving it. And that's exactly how I should be doing it at my in-laws as well. Mm -hmm. hmm? I, I should be doing the same. Hmm? Even where, where you are so used to your, ah, I know she's my sister, she's very crazy, that one. And you can make peace with it. I know my mom, that's how she behaves. But you can make peace with it. But when you get on the other side, you can't make peace. You're like, no, 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 I'm not going to take this nonsense. These people must not come to my house anymore. But how can they not come to the house when these people are this person's family? Go and be the salt. Go and be the light to your in-laws. It's so nice when you hear your in-laws speak good about you. That since you came, there is a change in our child's life. Go and be part of them. Eh? Don't say these things. Nah, I, 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 I don't know them. These ones, I don't do them. Eh? I was tested. Hmm? I was tested. The time I want to test your tongue. The time I over board them alone. Board them alone. You go buy an one now. I board them alone. And it was a big pot. I've never cooked a big pot. But I said, you know what? I'm not gonna say no. I said, hey, come on, this this a roof for drop us in them suits. As you want, I don't am God say. But I'm like, if I this and this and that, but and from that day, every time I go to vendor, I never cook up, and not because I say I don't want to cook up. My mother in always says, I never become such a thing. You go be careful. You always are stuffy. Many many no, it has this. You go shop with different people. You don't. When you go to be careful, you don't. Because but I I I didn't go there with the naked team. So some barrel and put out. Oh, I feel my coat is no coat. You're sure I feel. <laughs> because but I was trying to show yes I see this is the task I must do mm. but get me some women I'm gonna pay them to do this because I could say okay this is expected of me then then but okay I'm I'm not gonna uh, have this uh, this thing here you want to show them you know what now this is not for me it's not gonna work me and my mother-in-law are now like uh, first years were not so good but i could see but i i made peace i just didn't want to start any fights mm -hmm. i just when i'm tested and then i pass the test when i'm tested i pass the test. <coughs> now when she calls she calls me buffoons i'm like hey where did the pastor story come to me <laughs> every time when my mother-in-law will call buffoons even i'm like yo lord it means i represented christ in my marriage yeah I represented Christ with my in-laws to the way to, to such a way that they saw Uri. No, this woman, she's got Christ in her. Because I didn't want Uri Jinge, there is something else that I'm bringing or whatever that, you know, I'm also working, you know. They cannot just come to my house. Hmm? There was a time where I was tested again, where they just showed up. They do show up. In laws show up without telling you. <laughs> <laughs> they show up. But about a boss man. But a guy guy. As you put a minute you have any can what? Can you believe it? Do I <laughs> in my house? The people are just showing up. Ah, Shem, they showed up. Nari, you are welcome. Mm. Come in. Now if they thought I'm gonna be angry mm. or fight with my husband about this, we are not gonna fight about this. Come inside. Hmm? Mm. Prepared for them. Hmm? And then I prepared for them. Hmm? And I showed them love. And now she calls now when she has to come. She says, We are coming. Can I invite her? But we are building a relationship. And I can see 
the relationship that I have with his family, it makes him happy. Remember, you came for one person in the family. Eh? So don't expect love from everyone. Mm. They never promised you any love. <laughs> <laughs> no promise. Mm. So now imagine you get there and then you are busy. Your mother doesn't love me. I saw how your sister was looking at me. Hey, forget about how the sister was looking at you. Forget about how the mother does not love you because there was never a promise that the mother is going to love you. In me, what you must just do, just give them the love because you are doing it for who? You are doing it for your husband. Mm -hmm. eh? For so many years, I was sending my husband with uh, just actually Rufura Nyin, whoever, what, what, sending him with scones. No call to say, my God, thank you. But I never stopped until there was a call. When you are doing good, you don't do good to be seen. You don't do good to be praised, but you do good for the Lord. And the one that sees the heart, he rewards. So you must just know that even when you are dealing with the in-laws, it's a service that you are doing it for who? For God. And he's going to reward you for it. The other thing that uh, I want to talk to you about, I think um, almost at the end, Wise Makoti, I am a wise Makoti. I built my home. Proverbs 14, verse 1. <laughs> The way in you create that conducive environment in your home so that he just wants to be with you. But as you pay the apple, you can look on the net and a mission. I hire a helper. Your ideas was to sort it. And then you can go back and you can go back and you relax. So you can't use your camera. You can't use your story. The excuses. You can't use your story. You can't use your story. I always say, say uh, marriage is not for the spoiled brats. Then what can you do? I don't know what to do. You can't use your story. You can't use your story. You can't use you work in the bedroom. So I don't feel like it. Hey, women, I be a I don't feel like it. Even if you don't feel like it, what do you want to do? Even I don't feel like it. It's your wish, Wangani. Who must bring it down? Huh? If you can see, Uri, this man wants me now, and you say, I don't feel like it, must he go out? Must he go and find somebody to bring it down? Whose job is it? Is it not your job? Wangachi <laughs> mbona mm -hmm. eh? Because there are others in other families. Nakana wana mfumaga, nakana mfumaga that of Ravata. It's resoko. So Shambori, this is great. Eh? Ubona ya nekadim. So it starts here in the mind. Program the mind. And program it right. Eh? Udora achifaro, hii, achifaro, hii, achifaro. Ah, ah. You need to program the mind and you need to say, um, you must say after me, sex is not a sin for a married woman. Sex is not a sin for a married woman. Sex is not a sin for a married woman. Sex, that thing, it must be going in your head huh? all the time. Me and my husband, I'm saying this thing because it happened with me. Me and my husband, we never had sex before our wedding. And when it had to happen, yo, 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 yo. Tell us, no, 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 no,
start kissing kissing you kwa guy <laughs> the, the man was always waking over time so it means even when, where i'm supposed to relax i did not relax where i'm supposed to enjoy i did not enjoy because i did not understand or now is time for me to enjoy and sex is not just for your husband even for you huh? even for the glow yeah now the office in and that's your turn and i'm going to office in no when i wanna it's a happy peace for you for your husband huh no no when i'm from a guy in the corner my and yankee need to have a phone call it she had a rubarum do the garwimbo the mufuma gazo piwa ho on lawa afu range camera when you have eaten and you have full both of you you will see because you can do all the things, but Muna Salaka Marani Zudo Shimbila. Men are wired differently. They love sex. Mm. They love sex. I remember watching this other clip. Maybe you've also watched it here. This woman came and said, no, my husband has got a demon. He, he loves too much sex. <laughs> and then the pastor said, hey, I've got the same demon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, unfortunately, I also have that demon. So just understand that men, I thought that I'm said, you don't have to worry about strong as you are. And I gave you on Tuesday. And then I gave you on Thursday. No, it doesn't work like that. Everybody, hi, but we have done it. No, if he wants it, he wants it. Give him. Give him. And don't you for you think near exercise? Don't find you have a combango exercise. And don't you for you come with near exercise? So now, need to exercise some more. Need to join. Rene, but never bang in your foot. Pass the baby bang in your foot. Bang in your foot. Buy us the baby. If you do not exercise, no, 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 Richie got I mean, huh? Gauri, we always hear you be, yeah, you know this man, he's so lazy. Don't have to, and I just go around with him. Oh, on. Because he was on top. He am on top, you will know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> when you are on top, you will understand. You will balance and go on. Huh? Junaran is an exercise. Who do you tell me? You don't know who to put on top, but you can't go on top. You will be in my so you need to exercise so that you are fit. I also go exercise well for other things. If I'm exercising, so I can have a nice body, you know, cover what what. We exercise even so that we can be fit because we are determined. This is what I want. I want to make sure that I enjoy sex and my, me and my husband we enjoy sex because we are tired. Good sex has been taken away from marriages. Yeah. It's for me. And they are barely wahey kuku. Ore Murena, where Archie Jenna, for where Cabonelita do. No, Re Murena. I always say, or Ara Mufumaka to Omadu. Mona as a truth of a Muko Sika Marani, whenever we ever move. I want to know you, Mufumaka. What do you need a Munabi Zeremia? I go to Munati. You need to program the mind. And the Rene our enjoyment of sex, it starts on the mind. It starts and you know when we you're saying you are exercising, exercises are also good. They actually boost our libido. So when you are exercising, eating the right stuff, because then you will be saying, Man, I've got a low sex drive, no matter what. So now I'm in a low sex drive. You have to find out what is it that I can do mm -hmm. to boost up my libido. Because you understand that I've got a duty. I'm a married woman. Mm -hmm. Because Rene, you can say I may I can even go for a month without sex, wow. but then you are married. This man wants it. 
As a woman, maybe you can stay for a month. But this man cannot stay even for a week. He might even want it every day. So my children are meeting. Have baby do you have my What woman? What woman? Yeah. No, that you know. I feel abused. Abused for what? There is no abusing that. He's enjoying his wife. Allow him to enjoy you. I just think I can age him. We. I don't get into mangala. Na biya na dibu sorka. Na mungo no komu panga ngenda. Ono tone tanga yungo no komu. So enjoy it. Enjoy it together. Hey, tell us your name. Hey, <laughs> 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 It's already a I was telling you about my product. Uh, this is my brand. This is Fair Made. Uh, this oil is not, it's, it can be used as a lubricant, but it's not meant for lubrication. This one, it's, it's a natural oil. There are no um, chemicals on it. So because a woman must always have a lubricant. Mufumagazu is run a lubricant because it's not every day where you're going to be wet. And when you are not wet, as young I will show me because in the end I'm dry. I'm dry, so we'll try tomorrow. Eh, we will try tomorrow. You have killed him. You have finished him. But you, you just say, baby, I, 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 So that in the I, 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 this is what I need. This is today. I need this. Tomorrow, I need that. It's up to you. And you must tell him what you want, how you want it. So that of you need the money bids in Why is he not touching the neighbor? Why is he not touching this? Or maybe he touched somewhere. Oh, why did he take his hand out? Uh uh. I could read the Mumbro one. He doesn't know what's happening in your mind. Nana bo bizu ko soko uno ai pamse che zindu zone. As he is even looking at your face thinking okay is there facial expression go on. Ni mana tiba ko bizu yes baby yeah 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 hold on there 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 on the clitoris yes 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 baby. Ni ini ana dum and hezu muna o shuma he ana nge ai stola meeting it only imagine na meeting mani abona message uju ko jena ndi wa baby ko check Homer of Zamurora. Yo, yesterday, my baby. Yo, yo, yo. You go back at the wife. Eh, imagine coming from the wife. You know, yesterday, as those you to Zuyata Kazamuna would do a rope shoe. I've been up one day. By a loser, self confidence is lost to the important thing. Amanda, I'm not going to go to the poofy and as we can see, move my guys where we have been. Yeah. So, Jamba Uri, in Winnie Cotrit, and she sent a message. Huh? Tuna and Koshuma and Koshuma and Koshuma Yova. Huh? Was one and Koshuma and Koshuma. Yamba didn't a mistake, Yamba Diva. Utoma Bizuko Tamoe Janis, and even in the devil, Burili guy. At that moment, who took out the dip and could wait Jana Janis and Mune, Mushuma. No, 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 the right one. You must guide this man. You must guide him to the enjoyment that you want mm. to feel. You must tell him what is it that you like. Whether you enjoy more for play, whatever that you enjoy, whatever that you want. I'm not even going to talk as you tired and I mean, but all I'm saying is the mindset is very important when you come into the bedroom matters. You prepare your mind mm. and tell yourself, I'm going to learn. We'll learn about all the other things, but we don't want to learn about bedroom stuff. 
Shika dito wa wa zi yang makotis. Racho shika ya ni dalma la vange. Oba kwa mbanga jino wa chiru wa zuranta ya chiduru. Karto de chastu long. Pari ya deep. Pari at the edge of the bed. Let's try. We're trying. It's our marriage. We see what works for us. What doesn't work, we throw it out. Then we try something else. But we keep on trying and doing things that will help our marriage work. But Neru Kori, go and enjoy your marriage. Marriage is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. I was even saying it at the previous bridal shower that for 16 years of my marriage, I've been enjoying each and every year of this marriage. There isn't a year where I felt, okay, this was not right. And who sing out a wuna matada? Car matada on a camera with you and I. As Nichu Cochira not, and now no la unga pula mungana one when I want to Cochira not. I will not be one on a side to move to Nana Quatisa. Because it's when people are living together, what do I know? Then the one misunderstanding. Even in your marriage, it happens. So, but it doesn't mean you mean it to drink a pack a bag. It's up to you how you want to build this marriage. And men are those people that, you know, some, some of them, they don't really like, you know, talking things in details. You, you have to take it out from them. How was it? I don't know, it went fine. Fine. <laughs> 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 oh, and then you kind of have to take out information out of them. And it doesn't mean because he doesn't want to talk to you. They, most of them are just wired like that. They, they don't talk in details. start those conversations because you don't want to lose that touch with your husband. We are having marriages in the husband and the wife. They are strangers living together in the house. Nore, mm -hmm. they cannot sit for hours and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. They cannot play together. Now, right, I was just posted the videos. I should be busy. I'm trying. The Fridays, our Fridays are for the two of us. Mm -hmm. Even the children. But anyway, our children now they have a lot of the Fridays. Camera, they are busy. Cause phone. They are at that stage of teen where they don't want to, or they are in their lounge and they don't want to do what we are doing. But Fridays, we just dedicated on It's for us playing love songs and dancing. Hey? Moreover, I was busy uh, uh, playing him the song that I, I was telling him, you know, the Kadiba High School, you know, how about a concert? And then it ended up and he's telling Dion. So he's hearing this story every time. <laughs> so, we <laughs> we're playing even today we still play we still talk and with men all the time <laughs> so you've told me this story already no because if you are doing that he's gonna stop talking mm. then you won't have anyone to talk to so he's gonna repeat the stories you love like <laughs> it's a new story. <laughs> like he has he hasn't said this before. We just keep laughing. He's gonna keep on saying the same things we keep laughing. It's 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 bad. And even if fan ya be your husband's fan. Can I see joke was always cobra? And my husband actually you tell me no go first joke was always cheap, but I know my dwan it was a tabazaba. Because I just became his fan. Don't know when he opens his mouth, he, he thinks he's a comedian. I'm sure some of you when you get there, you're gonna think, what is she laughing at? So if you are seated here and he cracks a joke, who should laugh first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Because you are his number one fan. He must know. He will want to go with you everywhere. Because he knows when I'm with my wife, I know she's my number one supporter. But what we are saying, go and enjoy your marriage. So I, I, I didn't talk about your finances because I came with my sister. She's good with finances. She's the finance.